This is a DTX-1800 by Fluke cable tester. This here is the main unit. This is the remote. These are the channel adapters and these are the permalink adapters. So the first thing you want to do is to do a self-test. And in order to do a self-test Put a permalink on the main unit and a channel adapter on the remote and hook them up like this. And then it'll show you how it's supposed to be hooked up in the diagram. Then you press test and it passed. Since if you're doing twist to pair, you want to put whatever you're going to be doing. Say so I want to do channel 5, or cat 5 channel, there, and you check what type of cable you have, make sure they match. So now, go to single test, and since I'm doing channel, <coughs> I need channel adapters on bulk. Now what I'm doing is attaching a Cat5 cable to both channel adapters so I can run the test between the two of them. And set it for auto test. And run through all the tests that are available. everything. Now I'll show you all the tests that were done. Okay, and if you want to see if your wiring is correct, if you put on connectors or such, or if you have a bad wire somewhere, you can go to the wire map, and it will show you the exact wiring between the two of them. For instance, if you had two open in between there somewhere, it would show an open on that line. You can also do a single test. For instance, if you want to do a wire map only, it will just run the wire map. Okay, next I'll set it up for doing Cat5 permalink. Go back to Set up, go to Cat5e permalink, set up, you're already on Cat5 again. And these are the permalink adapters. On the ends of them are what are called PMO6s. They clip into the jack part of the cable, for instance, the cable box itself. And they will test the wiring through that. So, go back to auto test. And it passed again. Same thing as with the uh, channel adapters, it'll show you all the tests that were done. And if you want to check just one single test at a time, go back to single test. And it'll show you the wire map again. Okay, these are the DTX MFM2 modules 
used for fiber optic cables. And they're identical, so it doesn't matter which one goes which. In order to install them, you remove the back. And insert the module as such. Okay, some of the features on this. Here's your output. This is your input. And you also have what's called a VLF, which is a visual fault locator. So what that does is, for instance, you can take a cable and put it there and arm your VLF and it will send a laser through the cable. That way you know if your cable is good or not. Now to do the setup on it, you want to go down to fiber loss for instance and it's already set up for multi-mode but you can also go here generic and there are your choices. Go back to your special functions and you want to set a reference. So now you want to press test. Now it will set the reference between the two units. Which is showing good. It's where it should be. Now we'll do a self-test on the modules. And the self-test passed. Now we'll do the auto-test on it. and everything passes and it's the same as with the cables you can go back and do separate testing for instance if you want to see what the loss was Some of the common problems you might run into with this, which might cause a failure on the test, you may have your cable isn't seated in good, that can cause a failure, or the cable itself may be dirty. So what you may want to do is clean the ends of the connectors with the cleaning pads that are included. What you do is you just take the end of it and rub it over the pad a few times. Let it dry in there a bit and then reinsert it. You may want to do that for all four of the ends as they go in just to make sure that they're good.